Hey everybody, welcome back to the Portable Gamer, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, and welcome back to Agra OC. It is late summer, it is day five of summer, and things are beginning to happen on the farm. So if we go to our map here, last episode we were mowing and putting grass in the pit. And we did get, I got all three of those fields done, right? And in the meantime, they've sprouted again. So after we mowed them, I fertilized them one time. And then after they sprouted, after they started growing, I fertilized them a second time with the layer of fert that fields hold in seasons, grass fields. These now have three layers of fert, so we're good to go there. Our wheat and our canola are in. They're ready to harvest. We're going to do that today. And what else is going on? I did fill the clamp. We got 120,000 liters. It is done fermenting, and I've been taking silage out of there a little bit at a time. We've sold about 10,000 liters of it so far. We got about three grand for it. Yeah, about three grand. So we're, we got 368 euro right now. We're keeping the lights turned on, but only just. We've also got uh, pigs that, I don't, I don't know. We'll talk about it as we go. I don't know what we're going to do to make money on this map. And I've been stacking apples up at the orchard. Haven't been selling them, just been stacking them. We're waiting for a better price for them. And also just to make one trip, right? Even if we don't make a whole lot of money on them, I'd rather just stack them one time and take a bunch of pallets down there at once. So, right, uh, we got to hook this thing up. I did test the Unimog and you cannot unload directly into the Unimog from a pipe. You can unload into it with a front loader but not with combine harvester. So we're gonna take our little trailer out, our little Flegel trailer, there we go. We're gonna take this out to field, uh, I don't know, our canola field. I can't remember the number of it. We're gonna take this out there. We're gonna get our little combine harvester that we leased. We're gonna get that going. And we're gonna try to uh, turn this map around because here's what's going on. Not only are, are we not making money, I wouldn't say that we're losing money. We're obviously not making money, but we're also not getting any closer to a time when we will be making money. And that's what's concerning me. So we're just kind of running in place. So our pigs are not reproducing. Obviously, this, the geomod for this map has not been written for uh, pig productivity. That's cool. Not a problem. We just need, did, we need to figure out what to do instead. Because as it is right now, we planted wheat, we planted canola, we planted corn. You know, all the time we're spending on Western Shore, all the hours we've put into that map, I made the mistake of thinking the next map we play, this one in this case, would be like Western Shore economically, and it's not. So that's on me. Live and learn, right? We'll move on. But we, we've committed our crops to supporting our pigs, and we're not going to need them for that. We've still got, uh, I bought eight straw bales. We've still got like seven. So we don't need straw from our wheat. We could have planted soybeans, I guess is what I'm getting at. We could have planted money crops rather than pig food crops. So that's on us. But we spent 10 grand to lease the smallest combine harvester in the game. And I believe this field of canola on our right here, I believe at f about 500 per ton, 500 euro per ton, and I think we'll probably get about 20,000 out of this field. If we sold everything in this field that we're about to harvest, we would only cover the cost of this combine harvester. And then we've got wheat in another field, but that sells for even less, and we need to rent a combine harvester again to bring our corn in. So essentially, we're going to spend 20,000 to bring in this pig food, right? And we'll be able to get through here. You know I don't like header trailers, so I got something with a 4 meter header. And I think this map was made for 3 meter equipment. Ah, we made it. Alright, so we, that's what I said to do. Open this thing up. There you go. So we're going to open that up. I'm going to slow the cruise control down. Right about like there. We'll fire this thing up. Let's do a lap and see what we've got for volume in the tank. Do that. We'll carefully get the rest of the way through this gate. 
right, a bit of a high center there, but we're okay. We're still tracking. Beautiful. So a pallet of pig food is 2,000 euro, and they go through one about every three days. So for 20,000 euro of pig food, we could feed our pigs until next summer. And the problem is, I thought, well, we're not making pigs very often. Maybe I could just sell like one per day for a few thousand euro. 1,200 euro for a pig, and half of that is the fee. So we could get 600 euro per day if we sold one pig per day. We're making more than that from our beehives. So pigs, pigs are not where it's at on this map, and that's okay. That's cool. We, we want the variety, right? We don't want all maps to be the same. What fun would that be? But we do need to crack the code. We need to figure out the formula. We know it's not pigs. We know it's most likely not apples because the number of trees is fixed and the amount of apples that you can get from a tree is, is fixed. It's on a timer. So we can't, there's no way we can like meta the orchard. So we'll get about 10 grand a year from the orchard period. There's nothing we can do about that. It's not apples. It's not silage. I've been selling silage. I told you I uh, sold about 10 grand, 10,000 liters, and we got about three grand for it. So if we get a second cut, same volume, we can make about 60,000 a year from silage, and we'll get two cuts, not three, on this map. Okay, it's not silage. Maybe it's dairy, maybe it's wool, or maybe this is the kind of map where you just don't make a lot of money and you play it for fun. And that is, that's kind of a weird thing to say because, you know, it's a video game. Don't you play all video games for fun? Yeah, you do, but there's, there's different ways to have fun. And on some maps, you just make money hand over fist and you buy huge equipment and you have a lot of workers going at the same time and it's very sort of chaotic and exciting. And other maps, you just sort of play for fun. And these small maps, low horsepower maps, uh, narrow gates, all the things that are part of a map like Agro-OC, I think maybe we're never going to make money on this map. Maybe we'll only ever make enough to survive. So our fleet is sort of fixed at this point. I can't imagine us needing four tractors on this map. I think we're always going to rent our combine harvester. And yeah, I, I don't... I don't know what to do other than sort of keep looking and see if we can find the formula, see if we can crack the code and find a way to make money. Because the things we've tried so far, even though it's only our first summer, the things we've tried so far have really not, uh, they just don't feel like the answer. Certainly it's not pigs. And that's on me. Like I said, live and learn. We'll know that for next summer. Here. Yep. Still moving. <laughs> More realistic is no joke, man. Even on a flat map like this, it really makes you work. Uh, and what else? Yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, I'm still loving this map. It's a gorgeous map. And it's a lot of fun. It's got just the right amount of scripting. It's got uh, just the right amount of frustration. That makes sense. So yeah, still liking the map. No regrets. But I got to figure out A, if we can make money. And B, if we can, how. So we'll, we'll keep working on it. As far as this canola, you know, initially I thought, let's put it up for pigs. But our pigs really don't eat a lot. And I don't think we need to put all of it up. Definitely not all of it, but maybe none of it. Maybe we just sell it all, get the money while we can. The other thing we can do is bank it, use it for pig food, and wait for the price to come up. And I feel like that might be... Uh, I feel like the, the additional profit that we'll make when we sell it for a better price might cancel out what we feed to the pigs. And so we'll essentially get both. We'll get to feed the pigs and we'll get the same amount as if we sold it today for a lower price. So that's a possibility as well, right? Just hang on to it for a minute. I don't know. Let's see what kind of volume we get out of here. We're coming up on the end of our first headland and we're at about uh, 2,000 liters. We're gonna be at maybe 2,500 by the time we're at the end of this first lap. And that's just about half a tank. So let's, um, let's find a place to pull 
the Unimog in here with our little trailer and get this thing emptied out one time. And yeah, because we're over we're over fifty percent now, so we wouldn't be able to make another lap. So we'll uh, let's do this. Let's let's just take a little bit of uh, headland off the end of the field here. We'll need that space to turn anyway when we start our proper lengths. So let's take this little triangle off right here. And then turn and go across. Right, so we'll get rid of this right here. Right. And then we'll start across here. about right? Yeah, we can fit the Unimog in there. Can we not? Well, I mean, we can take another one off. Because we will need room to turn. But, God, everything, everything about this map is so tiny. I feel like whatever equipment you're thinking about using, use the equipment smaller than that. And this is... Yeah, this is the smallest Combine Harvester available. I have a, a mod... Uh, Kloss mod thought about using that but it's got a six meter header and I really don't like using header trailers I don't like using them at all because the, the mechanic is sort of broken on those they've never really worked properly for me but also I feel like it's n no easier to get a header trailer into one of these fields and get everything set up than it is to take a very small header through a narrow gate as it is now I think we may when we leave this field I think we may back out and and back all the way down the lane just the same way we came in but in reverse because that's easier than trying to get it out in, in right like going forward it's easier to just back all the way down the lane than it is to try to pivot this thing around those stone posts going forward so I don't know we'll, we'll continue figuring it out but I am still enjoying it and I'm looking up in the corner there because we do have 368 euro. So when we, when we pay our workers here on the hour, I think that is definitely going to go negative. But we are selling honey. We're selling honey, I think, uh, about 30 euro, 25, 30 euro per hour. Not a lot, but it's keeping the lights turned on. All right, so we're back right up here. We'll get the pipe out. Uh, I assume this pipe will clear that little Flegel trailer. I hope it will. All right. Carefully. Set the brake here. Let's see how we do. And this thing holds... Uh, it's either 12,000 or 16,000. I did bring the Unimog up on a different save game. I did bring the Unimog up and try to dump directly into it from the Combine Harvester, and it didn't work. So if you're using this pack... Uh, just a heads up for you. But this trailer is small enough. I think it won't be a problem. I say that. But everything feels big on this map. Alright, so we'll come right under here. Right. And we can shut this off for now. Let's come around here come around here, I guess. Right. There. Alright, and we want... Like so. That's working. We'll do one more lap. Oh yeah, yeah, we're at 14 minutes. We'll do one more lap just to get this field opened up enough to put a hired worker on it, and then we'll go ahead and end the video. I'll bring this in. I'll bring the wheat in. And next episode... I don't know. We'll think of something to be doing next episode. Maybe we'll open the dairy. We really don't have enough money to open the dairy. And we really don't have any room on our loan. Normally, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to come back here before we put the pipe in. Just to know that it's not going to uh, come in at an angle and clip the side of that trailer. There we go. We do have room on our loan. My concern is our ability to pay back our loan. And I want to get out of the habit of carrying a big loan on maps, knowing that, well, we'll just end that map. We'll end that series owing you know, half a million pounds, half a million euro. We'll just end it and, and never really address the fact that 
we got a free half million out of that map. So whatever loan we're carrying here, Western Shore, wherever, I always want to have a goal to, if not pay it off, to at least be able to pay it off or to be working toward paying it off. So I don't know about borrowing more money to open the dairy. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could put second cut up as silage bales and hay bales. But again, I, I don't know. I don't know if it makes more sense to just put second cut up as silage on the farm, sell it, and then buy those bales. Or, you know, I haven't, I haven't sorted out the economy yet. Still working on that. So that is, uh, it's kind of a ragged row. And I'm going to leave that one as is and go down here and come across the end of the field again and back up the other side. And I think that's just about enough room for us to make turns at both ends and I can start doing lengths off camera. Alright, so we want to, I know I can't make this whole turn, but if we go right here, Right? Lift. And then back up. Like so. Drop that again. And then like so. Does that work? Eh, it sort of works. More or less. Right. And yeah, 20,000. We'll call it 20,000 liters for this field. So that's about 10 grand. That's rough, and that really is. That that just pays for the rental of this thing. And the wheat is probably 20% if we were to sell that. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Let's put it up. Let's put everything up for now. We've already paid the fee to lease this. Let's just put everything up. And I wouldn't say we're eating the loss. We're, we'll just sit on the loss for a minute, and we'll contemplate figure out our next move. And in the meantime, we will have something to feed the pigs. Oh, and I did find a potato pallet purchase mod. So we can buy potatoes for the pigs and feed them with what we're bringing in. So that'll be wheat, canola, and corn. And then the only thing that we won't have as a stored crop would be potatoes, but we can buy those rather than buying whole pig pallets, whole pig food pallets. Right. Where are we at? Coming up on 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll empty this thing again. We'll call it right there. And then I'll finish these two fields off camera. All right. Down here. Yeah, I think that's enough room. So I'll just do lengths on here until this field is done. And then dip across the lane and bring that wheat in as well. Lift that. Turn that off now. Pipe out. There you have it. All right. So I'm going to turn this off before we hop out. Get that going. Jump out right here. Scoot through here. There you have it. Thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farming Simulator 17. This is Agra OC. We'll see you next time. Take care now.